This is an Off the Tongue Podcast. Welcome to Skate Mansfield. What's up, Skate Mansfield? I'm BJ Price. And I'm Adam Ackerman. And we, we have to start. We gotta go. We gotta go. Second time. Stop talking. But, Stop talking. Uh, Hit the button. button. From around the world, it's the skate news you need to know. You waited way too long for that I, button. I, I'm upset at you. I, I'm upset in general. No, you're not, actually. You're very not upset. I hit the recording there. I mean, I guess I'll hit this now, too. Okay, well. I'm just not hitting buttons. Hey, it's fine, dude. Look, dude, I was so gosh darn excited about yeah. skateboarding. Yeah. I was going bonkers about yeah. skateboarding. Yeah, you were. We, uh, we, you know, you messaged me literally... What after the first run or something? It, it was, was like the, right it was away. The first run, and then I said, "Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Are you watching yeah. this? Because like this is crazy. You're so bad at that. Like, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I was watching. But I said we gotta we gotta save this for the show, and then we proceeded to not save it for the show we because so talking. much crazy stuff was going on. It, I just kept getting ah, <laughs> that was and me. oh, and oh, all the time. Yeah, I just and I couldn't. I could not think of other words than crazy and nuts, and I kept saying those over and over. And I was like, like I I threw a couple insanes in there. Yes, um, but happy. yeah, the my brain was scrambled because it was just seeing things it's never seen before. It definitely made me think that I need a wider vocabulary. Yeah, for sure. I was like, ah. Oh. Like, in the I moment. I said, I'm going to go crazy again. I'm going to hit yeah. the crazy again. I mean, because, like, in the moment, it's like, yeah. I can't think of a better word than this is insane. Yeah. Or this is crazy. Or and, this is nuts. And uh, that's the three words that we were throwing around a lot. Crazy, insane, nuts. But we felt the vibe going between it Sorry, about bro. all of it. It was just... <laughs> Yeah. So, oh man. Well, okay. So we let's, should let's say talk about it. We yeah. should say obviously, if you guys are seeing this on the YouTube, yeah. Street League was a couple of days ago. What four or five days ago? Yep. Yeah. Um, but this it, is we're recording on the Sunday that it happened, November sixth. Yeah, like two hours later. The Super Crown has happened. Now there is a winner. Spoiler, spoiler. I was gonna spoilers. say spoilers are coming, especially if you're watching on Twitch. Yeah. And haven't gotten to it quite yet. Yeah. Yep. Spoilers are coming. We try to keep some type of structure with this stuff. It's not going to happen this time. We're and just going to be saying, oh, did you see that? Oh, did you see that? And we'll be talking about a lot, but not being able to show it because it's... it's yeah, come on. I don't man. know we if can't we can... just do that. I don't think we can show any of that stuff. We're going to get dinged pretty quick. Yeah, doing that. for sure. So, but we'll just talk about it. So but it's your a- last chance, spoilers right now, we're going to start talking about it. Now, yeah, and it is on YouTube and ESPN Plus as right. a replay. If yep. you want to go watch it, the, I definitely recommend is, it. it uh, definitely, just watch it on the YouTube so you can yeah. skip a lot of those commercials and stuff. It's, it's great. I mean, I was yeah. so happy we watched it live. It's it, that feeling of live is right. is different. There was, and it, it was oh, it was today, or it might have been yesterday in the qualifiers, like the the video that they keep playing about. How Shane and Uto met, and oh, he yeah, sent yeah, him like the Instagram, one. and like I'm like, man, I appreciate this. It's a good story, yeah. but it's like five minutes long, and it's you've played it on one. every stop all year. All right, I had this in my notes too. Um, Kelly Hart's acting, oof. I, I dude, it, oof. it was bad, but I really enjoyed that commercial. I loved it I, because it, it's not meant to be. That's no. your problem, dude. No. <laughs> My problem. <laughs> no, Come it's off. it's not meant to be blockbuster and they know it's terrible. Oh, yeah. So they were like in the multi million dollar facility <laughs> and dudes on like an old school PC, <laughs> like yeah. In a in a basement somewhere. But still it was just the beginning where he like picks up the phone and he's like, Uh yeah, I can't come home right now. Uh, right. Like it was, right. It, I love like, it. Oh boy. I loved Oops. it. It's not supposed to be good. I'm fine with that, but it's just I, I had that in my notes. Yeah, like, for sure. The more I see this, I'm just the, the more I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I would be more surprised if it was good. All right. You fine. know, I mean, he's a skater. But all right, so the not everybody's Nija, bro. <laughs> Can Nija act? I don't know. I feel like he could. I don't know. He's a Hollywood but cat. Who's the best skateboarding actor? Because Tony Hawk is not up. There. Rodney Mullen, bro. Yeah. Okay. Most parts, anyway. Yeah. I, I don't know about talking parts. And but. some, like, n- no 
talking parts. Yeah. Most uncredited parts. I'll yeah, for that. sure. He's got a ton of stuff where he's got um, credited property. We would probably have mm. to say Bam. Oh, good call. I would have to say Bam. Bam is is probably the. I don't know if you want to. Well, if you're talking professional skateboarders, yeah. Yeah. You could talk professional. You could talk Stevo. Stevo's a skater too, but obviously, not to that extent. His acting though, like right. acting, like right. I mean, we're talking. I mean, if you talk like Bam, if you talk uh, like Haggard, like he was decently acting in Haggard. Yeah. And um. I mean, he's he was acting to the same level of Kelly Hart. Let's Does be real; Owen it Wilson was just count? the '90s. I Owen mean, Wilson, shout in, out yeah, right. right. Yeah, dude, that was one of my favorite parts of that whole <laughs> thing. Uh, Owen Wilson, and I show it to spitting. I show it to all my friends. I've shown it to Steve. I've shown it to Baker. They're like, oh, do you know Owen Wilson skates? And they're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, dude, check this out. And yeah, it's very obvious. Yeah, what's going on. But check out, yeah, right. Yeah. If you're, uh, you know, under you got the DVD, you want to borrow. If you're standard under def DVD, yeah, I was right gonna say there. if you're under thirty and have no idea what that is. The whole, the whole, the whole, the whole, yeah, right video is on YouTube. You okay, can watch it there if you want. It's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. It's a great video. It's the one where they did like the, it, the reason why it's that like green the is 3D because boards. I keep like whiffing. I, was, I should be pointing. This is here. dude. You need and to I'm give like right here. You need to give more respect to to weathermen, is what you're telling me. Very true. Yeah, I, do. I have respect for them. Do you I don't even? I do. do. You? I do. That's not fair. Maybe I'm projecting. You are. I I have <laughs> respect for them. I'm just saying, the whole reason it's green like that is because like they <laughs> they have the boards painted green and they edit them out. So yeah. So you get to that see was this the crazy coolest stuff. thing ever yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like wait, and then the the crazy part is like. They first show an ollie or a kickflip or something. Yeah. You're like, okay, that's crazy. But then I think it's, uh, I forget who it is, but they roll up and do the board slide, and it just looks it's so weird. Brandon Beeble or somebody like that. It's just so weird because they ollie, and then their feet just yeah. stop right next to the rail yeah. and keep going. And it's like, what? Yeah, that's cool. It's, what is it's going cool, on? Because they did... They also painted like a bunch of ramps and stuff here, so they're doing yep. stuff that's like impossible, like right. like ollie this giant yeah. cap. But there's they clearly like they, they show it in the like the special features and stuff right. where all the right. painted things. It's, it's very beautiful. obvious what they're doing. They're not trying to hide it, but it's still awesome. It is awesome. Shout out, yeah, right. Oh, dude. Uh, but we got a lot to get to. Today, we do, dude. We do. We but got a lot. SLS Super Crown Champion Men's Final. Gustavo. Ribeiro. Dude, he... He's a monster. A monster. A He's, consistent monster. I was going to say, that was the, the craziest part for me is everything was so consistent. Both of his, uh, his line. Both of his lines flawless. were nines. Yeah. I don't, th that's, I don't think that's ever been done before. Both nines? I highly doubt it. I don't know. Because what what what, uh, what Sean Malto was saying, too, because of before this year... You could drop your line yep. score. You could just so do he, best tricks. He was saying, he said uh, at one point, he's like, man, we were shooting for 7.5s in our uh, lines. Yeah, yeah. Because it's cool if you had it, but it's not necessarily where right. you get the big points. And, so. and I like that you have to take a line score. I like that. I, 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 I do. I do. I do. But <laughs> it's uh, there's no but for me. It was, that, that I think that changes things. It because does. Because you have to be that cons consistent. It absolutely does. And I do like it better overall. My only beef with it is it just sucks that within two runs you know if you're out or not. You know, it's like it's like if you don't nail one of those or you get a five, like even uh even uh who was it? Uh Uto had the eight one. Yeah, Uto had an eight one. Uh um, but didn't land a single best. Why player. am I blanking on his name? Vincent? No. Vincent uh, had a Brazilian six. dude. Uh, Just, uh uh I mean uh Felipe? No. Dude yet yeah, today. Felipe Gustavo is Brazilian. Yeah, wait, who am I I don't know who you're thinking of. Why am I blanking on his name? But Jesus. Um, is it Felipe? <laughs> Felipe Gustavo. He had a six point one. I don't think it's. Oh my God! What is going on with me today? Uh, I'm gonna bring it up real quick. This is so bad. I'm so upset right now. We're we're just gonna. Bring he got it up knocked out pretty quickly. Um. There you go. There's your four. Oh, I guess it was Felipe. Why did I not? I'm sorry. I just didn't want to. I don't know what's going on. 
But yeah, so Felipe he was the like, only Brazilian in the finals. Yeah, uh, Gustavo they treated like a Brazilian, basically the same thing. Not because really, because he just ate up that course. Yeah, like it was his lunch, dude. Well, like just, Felipe, what I was gonna say, he got a six point six, I think, in the line. He either had the six six or the six one. I can't remember who had. I think that. he had the six six, and even then, it's like, and then you see three people end the line score with nines. Yeah, it's like, bro. You had Braden, You're you're Gustavo, out unless they both, you know. And Jocelyn. Jocelyn yeah. was a monster today, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. That it was. That, if he had, I, I wanted to know, like, his final in the super, in, in the super final, he was going for that bigger flip down mm-hmm. that set. Yeah. And I, I just wanted to know what that would have scored. Yeah. Well, because they were giving flip tricks down that a ton all yeah. day. Because what did his big the, flip he had get? The big, his big nine flip got two. a 9 1 or a 9 2. Yeah, something like that. Like yeah. he was even surprised. Yeah, like, well, he got a up. nine. That's exactly what it was. Oh, he got yeah. a 9.0. And because I remember him going, oh, Yeah, he okay. was up there. And, All right. Because like, Sean Malto was even saying, He's like, he's That's like, a high most, eight, you know? Yeah. The most, he's like, Most people aren't surprised at how well that trick yeah, did. Yeah. You know, yeah. that type of thing. But yeah, and, after that, he was like, All right, more uh, bigger was, stuff down the set. Dude, it was great to have Gustavo Ribeiro on top. Mm-hmm. It was Braden Hoban just, just, dominated yes. the course as well. Yep. If he do you think he would have gotten as high as Gustavo did with that Nolly front foot impossible nose grind if he had landed Oh, that? if he got the nose grind instead of the 50? Yeah, yeah, yeah for you sure. He would have got nine five or six? He would have gotten uh probably I'd say 2 points higher, which I think would be a 94, right? Yeah. But yeah, it was it was down to the you know, it one came down to the point. last trick on the, uh, you know, the yep. last part, the last trick of the yep. last stop came dude. all down to one dude, Gustavo Ribeiro. And, and he pulled it out dude, he flawlessly. Gap to back nose grind, nolly flip out. And it was crazy, too, because and it was perfect. He was trying that before, too. And you could tell at the end the rail is lower than normal because yeah. he would still land them, but he'd like bottom out yep. and, and slide out. So it's like okay, you either have to nolly off, yeah, or you have to like just pull off early, and I guess really if you're flipping out, you got to nolly off anyway. But yeah. yeah, he he pulled it out and landed it flawlessly. So uh, shout out to that security guard who was in the way, dude. Thanks. Oh my god, I I, f- I almost that ruined threw my hype. child at my TV. That ruined the entire hype. It turned it ruined because, the vibe because everybody's cheering and you're like, what did he do? Right. And then the announcer was like, and he landed it. Like, Yeah, they didn't know because they yeah. were watching the same thing we were watching. Right. Oh, I was so mad. The guy I, was just like, him. sit down. You sit down. And the, the, the trick happened. I was like, what are they? Switch yeah. cameras. I know. I was seeing it roll up. And the whole time I'm like, dude's in the way. 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 Like, switch the camera. What is going on? Oh, I got grumpy. At that. I I literally almost picked up my yeah. youngest and chucked him at the TV. I literally thought that, too. I said that ruined the whole thing. Because I, cause you had to sit there, wait, and you hear cheering, and you hear him roll away, and you're like, I don't know what he did, though. We had you know, no was it wobbly? Yeah. Did he? I mean, I see him rolling away, but it, did, was it sketch? Like, it ruined the hype of once you did see it, you're like, is that right. enough? Because it wasn't in it. the moment when you mm-hmm. saw it the first time. Yeah. And it was slow-mo. I think the first replay. Yeah, and you're and you're so, just like, you're just like, well, yeah, that's sick. But was that good enough? You like had to keep. Processing yeah, I know. I was like, like, I was like, man, that that might be enough, but it's close. And I, I think said, it's a nine six, and you're like, that's enough. Well, no, he didn't get a nine six on that. He got a nine three. No, Braden got the nine six. Um, oh, man, because he bring it all up. He needed a nine point one to win, and he got a nine three. Oh, okay. That's what yeah. It is. Um, Excuse me, I was wrong. No, it's fine. But like, I'm always wrong, so I can't say anything. Um, a man alive! Was it was that awesome. Such a battle. And I, I loved one thing. I loved seeing was the front view of the kicker and hubba. Oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Because the side views, you're like, that's a dope trick. But when you get the the front view, you can see them so, going over the top of it. They had to get over that thing. Like yeah. When he did that front foot impossible 50, yeah. he had to nollie over yeah. that thing, wrap it. Right. Well, oh. that's, yeah, on the on the 9.6, that was the kickflip backside nose blunt. And it's because he went over the whole top of it and nose blunted. So and I was like, well, 
I was like, but is that enough? Like, because Desenzo was doing the kickflip front blunt. Yeah. And then I was like, I was in my head for a half a second. I was like, why is there so much more hype on this? Like, Desenzo already did that the other way. And then I was like, oh, never mind. Back blunts are way freaking harder. Yeah. Because I was thinking about it, and I'm like, oh, your angle's all the way different. You're sliding backwards. You're blind. You have to be standing yeah. over top of it. And then you're coming at that angle. Oh, Yeah, man. and like the front nose blunt, you're just kind of open, and you can see everything. So, yeah, for sure. Bonkers. Shout outs, Gustavo. If yeah. you guys have not, and you have... So, okay, so I have a very old Apple TV that somebody gave me at one point. Like, I can't update or do anything to it. It's just basic. But it has Red Bull TV on there. Nice. And so... I think that's an app, too, now. Yeah, and I like I was sitting down here one day, and I was sitting here with Felix, my, my youngest son, and... I just had that on, and I'm like, "What is this Red Bull TV?" Because I was—I think I was at that point. I was trying to figure out how can I update this so I can put these other apps on here. Right. But this version you can't. And I'm like, "What is this Red Bull TV?" And I turn that on, and it's like, "Oh, it's got a skateboarding channel on this thing." So we we click that on, and it's a Gustavo Ribeiro, Ribeiro, uh, um, like kind of like a mini documentary about his life and what he right. did. And it was a. It made me love him even more. Yeah, I definitely than I already watch do. It. It's so great because he basically called his shot every time. Like he he told his mom, he's like, you know what, I'm focusing on this. I'm gonna go win Tampa Am, and he went and won Tampa Am, dude. And then he. Sorry, speaking of, well, it's another Tampa Am's next month. It's a, another Tampa Am story about Felipe. Did you hear that yesterday? In the last chance qualifiers, they Which mentioned one? it about. Uh, Felipe Gustavo. Oh, his, his dad sold the car. Yeah, his there. dad yeah, sold the that. family yeah. car yep. to get him to Tampa Am, and he won, and obviously won. changed everything. Like, changed changed everything because his like he got three sponsors after that. That's so crazy. It's bonk. Like, and you think like even the Tampa Pro, you you think like last year where Jamie Foy won everything. Right, everything deserved every bit of it. Yeah, won everything. Yeah. And it's just like any of these guys who are sponsored by Red Bull, like Gustavo, like Jamie Foy, like Jagger Eaton, all these guys, they're huge because I think they're getting big pushes from Red Bull. For sure, dude. It makes a big difference. I w- that would be the one I will sponsor say skateboarding, that you would want. Skateboarding is old school in the sense that they're they're finally starting to come around to modern marketing and youtube and kind of things like that because for the last few years i mean for the last few years it's been that way but prior to that like um even t-pud was talking about it uh with steve-o and with the bigger bang video or oh, whatever yeah. that just came out yeah it uh just came out. it's probably like six months ago yeah point. whatever uh it's still great t-pud made his own website right and all this stuff another red bull rider by the way and Steve-O was talking to him about like, yeah, it's good that you're going independent and all this. You can see like the views and, um, you know, who's reaching it and like see who your audience is or whatever. And T-Pud's like, oh, I don't, I, I can't see any of that. And he's like, what? He's like on your website. And he's like, yeah, we didn't put in a thing that like counts how many plays it gets or whatever. He's like, I don't know. And he's like, what are you talking about? What? Like, yeah, how, how do you do not you? know? Like, why didn't you put it on YouTube? And he's like, oh, I don't care. I just want it to live on its own thing or whatever. And it's like, bro, like you're missing mm. a big part of what's going on right now. And that's that's Tipa. That's a top top ten most famous skaters on the planet, I would yeah. say. His and he's part, like, like, he's like, dude, I don't know how many views his his skate park got. Or yeah, he has no idea how many views it got. I, I mean, I'm like, he, what? He got at least ten from me. Yeah, he's gotten a lot. <laughs> yeah, for sure. At that part is so good, right? It's there's going to be some big contenders for best part this year, yeah. Because you got Nijas is coming out, yeah. He's he was talking about that hashtag yep. Nija Week because that I liked Nija Week. The barracks was fun, yeah. They the, did a good job with that. The content's been great. The yeah. content has been amazing. I didn't, wa- I haven't watched the Skater Dice with him yet. I got to watch that. Nope, not me um, either. But just him, t- I. I love watching skaters talk about their battles with things and their right. falls and this, that, and the other. Right. And he does a good job. He's very yeah. good at vocalizing. Well, I, what's I would up say it's that. it's because Ni- like obviously Nija, say what you will, is pretty much the best skater on the planet. 
pretty. He's, you know, I mean, he's a there's goat, man. It's, yeah, it's so, hard to, um, but like it's hard really, to argue it. It right? really is. And there's obviously even after what we just saw. Stuff. Yeah, but the part of the reason, obviously, his skating speaks for himself. But part of the reason he's you know has millions is because he does the online marketing. Yeah. He does. You know all these videos, all these interviews. You know, and he has a media talks about team stuff. that helps him. And yeah, like yeah. like when's when's the last time you, other than the Nine Club, that you heard from Chris Jocelyn? You know, oh, or Vincent okay. Malou. Obviously, they're on the Nine Club. Desenzo does a little bit of good stuff. I don't hear anything that, from well, Jagger. Again, Desenzo, another. I think the Red Bull team gets better, bigger pushes because. I, I've I've even seen it with like uh, streamers that are Red Bull. Yeah. Well, that's because Red Bull knows what's up. Yeah. yeah and they're sure. like th anything that the, like these people come to. Like Ryan came to them with that crazy snow gap. That was awesome. I loved that. That game. was awesome. That was a, such a good video. Yeah. Thanks for sending me that. Yeah. I, no I, problem. You know, I saw it everywhere after you sent yeah. it to me. But I'm glad you sent it to me because I watched it immediately. Yeah. And I'm like, I just I, I want to find creativity. those pictures. Oh, so yeah. creative. It's yeah. just I loved them doing the video where you saw he's trying to wipe off his board yep. and then he had to put he it takes on, his, he off, takes his off his shoes, shoes puts walks on the river boots, yeah goes through a river to the other side so that makes each each attempt, attempt is 10 minutes yeah each attempt is more important because each time he's like i'm getting cold yeah i don't know if i can flick the yeah. way i was like and then he gets this stretchy kick flip over yeah Backside flips over that. I love kick flips that like stretch out below yep. you and you still pull them in. Dude, a Neen uh, Williams heel flip over yep. the, the Hollywood 16. Uh, beautiful. Woo! That's a stretchy heel flip. Back to Street League, though. Street League. Um, so, yeah, Gustavo, number one. Braden Hoban almost had him. Oh, man. Almost a rookie in SLS. This is his first year. Almost takes the, yeah. the top spot from a guy who earned it. I'm so glad he had it. Like, it would have been so cool been like, man, Braden won it, but Gustavo earned it. Yeah, on the very, like you said, the very last trick of the very last event, of the very last stop, of the very last attempt. And I can't imagine what his, like, what was going on in his brain. Cause did I you think, see his interview? Yeah, I did. They asked him. Yeah, they were like, like, what were you thinking? He's like, he's I like, don't know, he's dude. He's like, I prayed. Yeah, he's like, he's I like, don't. I just prayed and said, please let this go well. <laughs> let, let this actually work. Yeah. And it did. <laughs> it's like, man, that's just, yeah. that's, I, mean, I think that's all I could have done in that moment because you're, I think I would have gotten so in my head and written myself off like, well, what I'm trying is almost impossible. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Well, I'll no, give it a try if it doesn't. I'm, I'm okay with Braden winning. I'm okay with, I would, see, I, I would have been talking myself. I would have done the time. opposite. Like I've landed this a million times. You can do it again. You've done it before. It's the stakes are nothing. You yeah. do this every day, you know? Good for you, man. I don't think I could get that. I, I can talk now. I might not believe thing. it, yeah. but I'll say it. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's I, all about. I also yeah. love on single trick stuff where you can see, like the way they get their nervous energy out. Vincent Malou will will with his front foot pull his board back to and and like like tip his board mm -hmm. up and pop it down three times and push his board forward. Felipe and, just lets it kind of roll yeah, back and forth. He rolls it back and yep, forth. Yep. And then you've got like Luan who grabs his crotch constantly. Yeah. <laughs> and and pops the board up, grabs his crotch and pulls it into his crotch you know, and flips it down, pops it up, grabs his crotch, pulls it into his crotch. That's like a that's a gangster times. Brazil thing, <laughs> dude. You know what I do want to see though, kind of speaking of that in the same aspect, I would love to see Jagger skate in a shirt that actually fits. Fits him? Because I've noticed this. I've noticed this the last it's couple so times. big. And I know, like, bro, I'm a hater, right? But what, dude, he, and I've been looking for it, and I haven't been able to get a good view until tonight. Yeah. He cuts them. He, well, he cuts, cuts the them. shirt. Um, there Because, was, like, it's. Deshaun did it, too. He, did you notice his shirt yesterday was super uh -uh. short? Uh-uh. I'm like, Deshaun, what are you doing? But no, uh, oh man, yeah. But Deshaun wears normal clothes too. Yeah, Jagger. Gets, I love Deshaun's pants. Yeah, those for good sure. Pants. Well, I want to. I want those. Deshaun pants. and Uto surprisingly have one of the best shoe games in skateboarding. I, Shout out if you know you Uto know. had the purple, the purple Nikes. Well, those are sick. I, that may have been in yeah. Seattle actually. Yeah, that was the last stop. Yeah. Uh, cause they're the a, purple lobsters, yeah, was, and I his, want them, but they're like eight thousand dollars. Jeez, his yeah, his last. He was in Seattle. He won Seattle last. So, yeah, it was 
Those are dude. My, man, look at those purple kicks. Um, sick. But yeah, so so Jagger wears a normal shirt, but then he'll you can see like you know how when you cut a shirt the ends kind of flare they, up, they, they curl up. Yeah, yeah, it was like that. And I said he's cutting them because you can see everybody weird skating. without a hat too. Yeah, everybody. I'm just so used to him in a hat. Has a normal shirt, you know, whatever. But every time you see Jagger skate, you can see his whole belt and a little above it, like every time. And I'm like, dude, but, but just, just wear a normal shirt. Like, I thought about it as well. Gustavo wears shirts. He wears XLs when he should be wearing larges, because uh, like every time he he lands, because he because he dips down, the the shirt comes up and it's over his shoulder, and he has to do the shrug yeah. to get it off. Yeah. And I'm like, make your life easy. Even um. Maybe that's what it is. Jagger doesn't want all the extra movement that's in the possible. shirt. That's uh, possible. Uh, Risa, Risa oh, Leal, who yep. won, she she got a clean sweep. I heard. Yes, yeah, she did. Wow, Every, of all like, stops. And you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna mark this right now. Everybody, mark this. We do need to visit next her year. Parts and stuff. We're we're going to watch the women's as well because yeah. I watched the final for the SLS and the women's, and man, it was good. They yeah, did a good job. And but anyway, Risa, I noticed. I'm like, she had a giant wa- a giant watch band that had like an Apple watch on it, but it was right. a giant band, and then I want to say 32 bracelets on too, and I'm like, how are you skating with all that? Cra-? I'm a minimalist. I'm, I take my watch off. I take no phone in pocket. See, like, I I did notice this on this one. Um, Deshaun put his phone on, on the, the rail, like, yeah, yeah, on, yeah, that, yeah. on that ledge, yeah. And so I'm, he must have noticed that I can get to the other side and still hear. Yeah, that's well, the only thing. Yeah, Bluetooth range is not it's, the best, so. But it can be bonkers now too. Yeah, like it. Yeah, like I can leave my phone in my bedroom, which is on the other side of the house, and still hear it down here fine. But it, but it's also spotty. Like my laundry room, I could have my phone right outside the door of my laundry room, right. be in the laundry room, and not. Huh. It won't connect. I don't know Weird. what's up, but anyway, but yeah. it, it was funny to see that. But but again, I don't know with like some of these people that have so much stuff on, leave their phone in their pocket. I will say and doing these tricks and everything. I'm I like, will say Mm-mm. I've grown out of this, but when I was younger, um, I would always have I always had bracelets, not like crazy, but I'd I have two, one Absolutely. or two, and they were the kind that you couldn't take off. And I oh, wore the ones that like tie yeah, on. Yeah, and, and like friends made them or yeah. whatever it was. French and uh, hashtag French shout French. out where'd they go? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, uh, clip that. Clip sorry, it. bro. <laughs> hashtag YouTube Shorts. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so like, so it, like I would have like maybe not a live strong one, but a, a bracelet like I'm, that. I'm telling you, look at hers. Hers were all. Big well, bulky. let me let me let me get to this point because I had like Live Strong or like whatever it was, and a couple other ones. It wasn't Live Strong, but whatever it was. And um, anytime, like I ended up breaking my hand and had to have a surgery on it, and they had to cut these off. How have I not known that you broke oh, your yeah. hand? Shattered it, dude. How did you do that? How does a normal 18-year-old kid shatter his hand, bro? I, f- I feel like this is getting TVMA. No, no, no. It's, <laughs> it's, if, if you could you guess. the wall. Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm just yeah, saying, the, the way that you acted on that, I'm like, dude, that's some We can get fierce. into details afterwards. That's but some fierce. I texted, fun, fun fact, I texted Jerry afterwards. And I said, "Hey, bro, because I drove a manual then too, and it was it yeah, was my right you, hand." Dude, you and your manuals. I love manuals. If you broke your hand at the park, I'd be like, "It's gonna be a rough drive to the hospital, dude." I, have I, to I remember still, how to do this. You just gotta wrist it, dude. It's fine. I did it for months. It's could fine. you drive? If I was driving and clutching, could you do the stick uh, in, the, uh, in the passenger seat? Yeah. It'd be a weird angle, and it'd be the wrong. I'd honestly You'd probably have to yell clutch at me. I'd probably have to do this. Oh, really? Because it, it's the wrong hand, so it'd be Ooh, weird. Good point. That's what I've always thought about driving a manual overseas. I'm like, because they're oh, sitting on the right switch. Yeah, and I'm like, oh no, what is this? Yeah, it'd be crazy. Yeah, be careful at um, that, at that uh, car rental. I forget what what I was saying now, but no, so, you broke your hand. Yeah, so I texted Jerry, and I was like, hey, bro, I just, I think I just broke my hand. Because, like, I hit it, <laughs> the story, we won't get too de- deep because into it. Because of a girl, it. wasn't it? Yes. But <laughs> oh, I also busted my hand because of a girl. But I punched the wall, and then I'm in such a heated rage that I was so upset that the, the stud that I punched didn't break. 
So I punched Shout out it stud again. Finders. So I punched it again. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, yeah. Yeah, and it was bad. And I so I I looked at my hand and it looked like not great, but this finger was like way down here and I was like oh, no. I was like it's fine like I was like, maybe I just broke my pinky or whatever it was. Sure. And I texted Jerry and said, hey, bro, I need you to take me to the hospital. I just, like, broke my hand or whatever. And he's like, haha, funny. And I was like, hey, bro. It it's, is funny. It's blood. funny. I understand. A lot of stuff happened this morning. Because it was like 10 a.m. Oh I was like, a lot of stuff happened. And I would like you to come pick me up, please. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And so, so yeah. Funny. And we got there and they were like, yeah, it shattered in about nine pieces. I said, no, dude, like my pinky's broken or something. But yeah, and they're like, you're going to have to have surgery on Monday. Dude. And they put pins in it. You can look on my inst on my Facebook and see pins in my hand and wow. nastiness. And we used to dude. tell people, we used to tell people that I got really drunk one night and Jerry was the sober guy. He, he always was. And teetotaler. And uh, we always said I got really drunk one night and he convinced me to pierce my hands. And people were like, really? And then people got so upset at it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, they were like, why would you do that? Because we'd always be together when we why said it. Why would you not? And he's like, I don't know. I didn't think he'd actually do it. <laughs> and I got two <laughs> pins sticking out right here, and I'm like, guess I did it. Yeah. Duh. And they'd have like, they had, like, little green balls at the end, so yeah. you can easily pull them out. Yeah. But I was like, yeah, I put this on there to make it look a little better <laughs> or whatever. Like, we were, like, 18, dude. We were dumb. But it was so fun. You're a goofball. It was so fun. Dude. It was so fun. Shout out Super Crown. Shout out. Amazing. <laughs> I do. Last thing I will say, though. Last thing I will say about Street <laughs> League. Dude, shot. Oh, shout no. Out. Who Silver just heard that? Gaming. Dude, he's. Double tap. He's uh, uh, Zombie Land rule number two double tap does not apply to studs. Look, LOL, bro. Where LOL, were you? LOL, where saw, were you dude. 13 years ago, man? <laughs> yeah, no, that I is, feel it. That is good. It's a very good one. <laughs> I need to write that down and Mine remember was, it. Mine uh, was uh, because of a girl, obviously. Mine was a closet, a bifold door closet, all cedar wood. Hand went through and I cut my wrists. And oh, stuff. and man. my parents thought I tried to kill myself. Uh, that was a good. That's time. a whole. But it was just me punching the closet. Arm went through, and it, and on the way out, <laughs> man. And I was just mad. And then there was blood. And I have. I, I didn't think about it because you're just you, you you just in those moments you yeah. just you. I wasn't just looking white. for a stud finder, dude. I wasn't Let looking for a stud Beep. stud fighter silver wing. Beep. All right. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm clear. Pow. <laughs> no, but uh yeah. Dude, what what feel I mean, I mean since then or before then have you punched through a wall? Have you have you like done it? Well, cuz I don't think there's <laughs> anything more satisfying than putting your I will arm say, through a wall. I will say I have done it after it wasn't the the greatest whatever, <laughs> greatest. But one thing that happened, which is so funny to me now, it wasn't funny at the time. Long story short, we go out party one weekend, right? And my house party gets hard. robbed when I oh. when I'm back, so everything's gone. Oh, like even I'm down sorry, to the microwave, dude. no joke. What? <laughs> I'm not, dude. We can get into it sometime. All the way down to the microwave. It was a family member. It's great times, right? Good stuff. So, uh, yeah. So the last two weeks, you guys have learned a lot about my family. But, uh, <laughs> so it's been an interesting life, but love. So that happened. I'm really obviously upset at yeah. the house and there's a, there's a whole carload of us that just got back to the house sure. after a weekend of partying. We're cut. We're all coming. We're going to chill or whatever, drop people off, whatever it is. And everybody's inside because they're like, you know, this is crazy. Like what happened? Oh, sure. Yeah. And I ran, I went into my room, I slammed the door and then I punched the door a couple times. Right. Take that. Because door. I learned not to punch a wall. Absolutely. So I punched a door and I thought that in the moment I said, don't punch the wall, punch the door. There's a little bit of give in the door. Right. So I punched <laughs> the door. It's not a very well made door. So I punched the door. It didn't break or anything. But later I found I was at one side of the house doing that right and everybody yeah. else is on the other side of the house outside on the porch okay and when i did that apparently i shook the whole house to where the two women on the front of the porch got physically scared oh dude and and then they they let, like they were they weren't like you know adam smack yeah they weren't like you know fearful or anything yeah, but yeah, yeah. 
yeah, they. I guess they felt it. <laughs> like, and I was Dang. like, "Sorry, guys, I was a little upset." Well, understandably yeah. so. Yeah, it was a whole but, ordeal. Dude, <laughs> shout out Super shout Crown. Shout out Life, bro. <laughs> shout out Life. Shout out Super Crown. Yeah. Thank you for. I mean, I just kept texting. It was great. I just kept texting great. Adam. I love skateboarding. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, we got a couple other things to cover here. Um, <coughs> well, and you know what? While we're still in the street league. Um, oh, yeah. Let's well, do we that still got quick. this. Here's, here's what we're going to do I want to bring up each park. Like right here, this is uh, Jacksonville. Is this week one? Are we going this in is week order? Week one. I've got in order. I just kind of okay. wanted. I kind of want to rank them. See what your favorite okay. was. I did like Jacksonville. I like Jacksonville because I like the grass. Yeah. I like, the, I like going over it's planters a park. and stuff. Yeah. I like this rail and this this bump to gap there. I I would have liked to see a bigger hubba or a bigger ledge feature, sure, but sure. but I like it. I did like it. So that one was good. So that's that. Here's Seattle. I thought Seattle was pretty stinking awesome. I loved this long rail. Yeah. And into this. Because I love Jamie Foy, dude. Just trying right. to nose grind the whole thing. I will say it, it looks a little like on the that's right side. stair set, too. Yeah. On the right side, it looks a little bland. Look at that. Yeah. It looks a little bland. Like there should There's have been more on the right side of the course. But. It worked out because it still had a little bit of everything. It had that gap to rail. Okay. Oh, well, this is where, in Seattle, this is where the uh, Chris Jocelyn did that back three over this whole thing. Right, yep, massive. Right Huge. The long rail was a great touch. I liked, um, and I liked how different each stop was. I was going to say, because this, like, the long rail, immediately everybody thinks Jamie Foy, right? Of course. So it's course. it's like, you know, are, are they kind of placating to Jamie Foy a little bit, but not really because it's just no, no, no. a it's, different way to get creative with yeah. stuff. A lot and of Brayden hit it. that a lot, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Coming up this way and hitting it. Oh, it's cool. I think Mickey Papa was hitting it, too, if oh, I'm not guaranteed. mistaken. All right, and then we got um, Las Vegas. Vegas. This one was a bummer for me. One, It was so tiny, but, it, but I liked this. Yeah, this it was here? tiny. I wish a bigger that, flip over this thing. Are yeah, that's basically me? the only thing that you could do anything massive on. Like, I it's liked so it. Short. Look how look at how short it is. I liked it, but I think they the way they planned it, they thought the the quarter pipes and the drop ins up yeah. top here would give them more speed and more time. Yeah, but it's like a little bit. But we need more flat too. We need more actual the, the, run. The problem was rolling away. A lot of these things were. Trying to him trying to roll away from this, yeah, it was so tough. Yeah, but I mean, you at least still can oh, roll away no. straight. You just don't have much time to set your feet before you hit something so and this, massive. This whole thing right here, was yeah, good. I did like Jagger Eaton did this a lot where he he would like uh, little flip gap. the fakey, yeah, and go that way. I thought that was cool, right? Um, so that That's was basically, Las Vegas. Yeah, and it I was liked a, it. I would have liked to skate this one. It was a bummer for me because. And this is no reason anybody else would think, but this was in... The is really tall, too. Look at that. This was in uh, the UFC Apex building. Right. So I was hoping it'd be cooler because I'm a big UFC fan, but the Apex is tiny, so yeah, that's expected. And then you had you had the uh, Super Crown. Yep. Why was the grass... All it all the grass looked dead. It looks yeah, like I don't they know. brought sod in, but it Hey, was bro, just so I'm terrible. focused on wood and tricks. I'm not focused on... I'm focused on greenery. Like the aesthetic of... I'm everything. not. I don't care about the aesthetic. I want to care... I care about what tricks can be done. Nobody did anything here. Uh, Shane tried. <laughs> Shane tried yesterday. Don't get me going on Shane. Yeah, dude. Oh, man. Biggest disappointment in a contest he, between him and Luan. I'm... I, I, this, I don't know if I even want to say this because this is going to be very harsh. And keep in mind, Shane is... He's won. He's won one. We know. Shane is my favorite skater, okay? He's so great. So uh, this is coming from a place of love, because and I apologize. Man. But he might be one of the most disappointing contest okay. skaters yeah. ever. Yeah. And you it's You can tell crazy. when he misses one trick, forget it's about over. the rest of the run. They even talked forget about, about that. about the rest of the day. They even talked about that in the last chance qualifiers mm -hmm. yesterday. They were talking about some people can overcome it, and then Shane comes up, and they literally said, like Shane, this is one guy that you know if something happens, it's going to be hard for him to come back. Yep. And I'm like, man, that's such a brutal thing to say, but it's so true. It's 100%. And I true. hate it because Shane is my favorite skater, so please don't 
Don't think this is from hate. No. I don't want to say this, but I get I'm so, But I also so can hard. I can also relate in if you get to that point, if you're that level and you miss something that you're used to making all the well, time. I think it's the difference between me and you, like you were just saying. Yeah. You would get in your head and say, oh, I can't do this. Yeah. It's not up to me. It's up to fate if I land this or whatever. And I'm the guy like, no, F that. We're going. You know, this yeah. is we've done this a million times. Who cares that all these people are watching? That doesn't matter. This is the same ledge you were doing this on two hours ago or whatever. And that's a, I think I find that in myself when I'm at the park and stuff and there's a ton of people. I don't care. I'm just so hyped on the vibe. Yeah. And I'll try and if I don't make it, I'm just happy. I'm you know, right. I, I'm like you did uh, revert. I'm, I'm Manny Santiago, man. I'm just happy. I was gonna say you did revert to an eleven year old when we were skating. Oh, 100 percent. In the in the terms of smileness. No, I loved Dude. it though. It was great. And even like we were skating Friday with uh, Caleb and everything, just everything happening there. I'm just like, every time something happened, I just kept elbowing the person next to me and like, isn't skateboarding awesome? Right. Like, this is so great. You, look, we all love skateboarding, but it, when, <laughs> at a certain point, it's like, bro, it is awesome, but let's skate. Like, <laughs> relax. Dude, it's I'm cool. Out, I'm out there skating, too. I know. I'm, I'm pushing I know. forward. So, forward. all right, which which one is your favorite park? I, I got to go. I got to go this last one. I gotta go. Yeah, Rio. Uh, Rio. It's, okay. It's because it has like multiple big sections and multiple little tech sections. Oh, that's cool, dude. Where you can do a lot of crazy stuff. That back three sixty down that yeah. that Jocelyn did. That Beautiful. Yuto could not land, dude. Shout out to Yuto. You're it was really so good, weird, but man. He didn't land a single. It was trick. weird. Yuto and Jagger, the two people who are normally locked in. Oh yeah, they're they're your off. one too. Yeah, they were off. I said, Jagger, wear wear a regular shirt, bro. <laughs> that's it. That's Spent all. Spent too was. much time cutting that's your shirt this morning. Uh, my favorite, man, I want to say that Seattle was my favorite. I really, Seattle was solid. I liked that course a lot. Yeah. I liked this gap here. I, I, it made me want to hit this gap. Mm-hmm. I, I would, I would roll up to this stair constantly acting like I was going to do something and then uh, never do it. Yep. I, <laughs> That's my move right there, dude. Dude, just, I, uh, I think, yeah, I think, is... I think Seattle promoted the most creativity. Sure. Um, you could come I just this think way, you could come this way. You could come, oh, dude. The going over this, yeah, is that grass gap in there going over yeah. this to here? Oh, shut up! I think you could get the most creative on Seattle, but I think the most bangers and massive tricks can go down in Rio. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely, and that's right. what I like. Those, I mean, it had those long stairs, and I'm I'm no you know no stranger to Look tech stuff. Obviously, Shane's my favorite skater, so I love tech stuff too. But Look at this. Look at how many you could just and dude. There's a long. How many nines were today? They uh, they had six people in the in the eight person final to get nine clubs. Yeah, you know, like multiple. Nine yeah, clubs. but it's because you could go so massive and do do that gap to rail was awesome. I was interested. That gap to rail was sick. I was interested. I wanted to, to see somebody do the kink. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. But you'd have to ollie so high and get up on it. Yeah, and you'd have to go slow too. Gapping out is sick, but I I, I can imagine trying to get on that rail right. at the beginning. Oofed. Imagine imagine Braden Hoban straight on fifty fifty hits the kink and then goes over crook or something on that the way down. Dude, Braden's the king of hubbas though. Well, yeah, I'm off that was days. a round rail too. I mean, yeah. that's that's yeah, just, crazy. Oof. That was a great course. Yeah, I would, okay, so yeah, hey guys, what's your favorite course? Yeah, that let was us here? know. Let us know. Shoot, it, hit us a a thing in the comments. I feel like there's going to be zero votes for Vegas. Well, maybe not zero, but very. I low. don't know. I liked Vegas. I liked, but because I was grumpy when I saw it. And then I'm like, all right, let's see what they can do on this tiny course. And they did some crazy stuff. It's interesting, though. You said you like aesthetic. This had no aesthetic. This was gray. It was just gray. Yeah, it's just gray. I liked the diamond plate where the metal was. It it's was cool. all diamond plate. That's if cool, you could but... put that as features somewhere, like, yeah. you know, just for the aesthetic. I think they, but... like, the, the feature for the diamond plate was... Oh, it's back the other way. Sorry. It's the, uh, this. Yeah, that I know. Was that. It just seemed like there was something, but you weird couldn't skate on it. there. Yeah, but Seattle also had um, this part here where 
um, Suchu would yep. come up and back tail over it. Mm-hmm. That's you like in the park stuff. Yeah, no, but yeah. that is cool. I like I said, I like all the creativity. I do love quarter pipe gaps. I do love oh, that stuff. Yeah, um I do think, like I said, Seattle's probably Remember that? That was the most two creative. Two years ago. That was twenty nineteen when Jocelyn did that, that would be three. huge oh three years ago. <laughs> where Jocelyn did that huge kick flip fakey between the quarters. Do you remember that? Don't remember. Is like it would you imagine a quarter pipe here and a quarter pipe here, and he kick flip fakey. Oh, a far. massive gap. Yeah. Wow. That's Jocelyn. That is. He'll do that. 100%. So, but yeah. Uh, oh, dude, oh nice. Is, $25 for a. Oh, wait. Is this, this is Seattle, right? This was Seattle. Well, still, $25 is not bad. No. I wonder what the Super Crown prices were. But oh, still. Oh, I'm sure they were a lot more expensive. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to find it, but I don't know if I'm gonna find that. I was just gonna see if I could find that Jocelyn gap. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, yeah, Jocelyn's a monster. This is probably one of the heaviest finals too, as far as people in it. There wasn't really anybody that kind of scraped by and got in. You know, this year you yeah. had you had to go crazy on it. You probably want to type in SLS; it'd probably come up too. Yeah, you're right. Um, pay attention thing. What's it doing? Oh, it's thinking. There it goes. Well, you you had stuff highlighted and then started typing and leave me alone. Now it says <laughs> SLS street part. That's not gonna do anything. You know what? You don't. You took out. You took out the the, the quarter pipe part, bro. Come oh, on, geez. man. What is you funny? gotta learn how to type, dude. Learn how to type, bro. Learn how to type, bro. <laughs> Why does it come up as street? Oh, I must have clicked on something. Yeah, you had stuff highlighted, and then you were typing over it, and then, yeah. Dude, I'm trying to... I'm just trying to help you, dude. Oh, man, leave me alone. It's going to be very difficult to find. I don't think I'm going to find it. Yeah, probably not. Uh, This is the one, though. This has to be it. Okay. This has to be it. Well, this was this year. Or, no, this was... No, this was not. Well, it said Seattle again, didn't it? Well, they've they've gone multiple times, but that huge gap, though. Oh, it's right there. It was right there. It was like three minutes in. Yep, right. Yep. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's what I saw. Dude, a gap back three. Yeah. But he did those quarter pipes. Oh, right there, right there. Okay, okay, we're there. Yep. There it is. Look at him. Just gap wow. that whole thing. Yeah. I thought he kicked foot fake. He got a nine for doing that, too. Whatever. Go back. That was a nine? Hold on. Go back further. Hold on. I'm trying. Is that all? That Hold can't on. get a nine. What are you talking about? You see how far that gap that is? That can't get a nine. If you kick flip it, it's a nine. That's a that's an eight five. I'm not giving that a nine. Of, Just a regular gap. Obviously, it's massive for sure. Um, let's go back this way. Oh, he did it in his run. That's why. Oh, he's got... Okay, I see. Yeah, the run was... Okay. Three. I was like, there's no way. Well, it was after this. It was... Okay, so if it was in his run, it was back here. Sorry. I don't know, Trying to bro. find it. I don't know. I just remember seeing it and being like, what is it's going It's not going to be here because it's on the other side. Well, did he do it in the beginning? Okay, so it's back far. He probably did it at the very beginning. All right, 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 right. We'll go. We'll go way back. We'll play games. Dang, gap lip. Look at that alley you. See, dude, but you can go forward because now he's going to the Heel other side flip. of the other park. I just I want to watch. Okay. This was from forever ago. This isn't current. So give it a second. Look at him push Maybe. it. He almost came off it there. Dude. No, wow. dude. Get back lift. How did he slow down on that quarter pipe? Okay, so then, no. yeah, it wasn't. It had to have been the first. <laughs> dude, just for flair. Right. What a run. Look at this run. That's a sick park, too. Oh. Uh, 
Dang, dude. So, but he's going to try that same run again. He's not going to put that massive gap in it when he didn't lay in the whole run the first time. So it, it had to be a best trick or something he did after. Dang. Shout out Chris Cole. He was my original favorite skater. Yeah, yeah. We cannot keep watching this whole thing, bro. I'm I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just having fun. Yeah, go to the end though, cause it'll it'll show it again. All right. And I think it it was a single trick. Look at that. So huge. Oh no. Yeah. I guess it was in the run because. Run attempt two of two. Yeah, it's weird that he would go for that massive when he didn't land. Yeah. His full run the first time. So, where is it? He's on that side now, so it has to be before that. We're just trying to find it. Look he definitely at doesn't have the speed to do it no. here. No. But where did this trick come from? How did he get up there so quick? That was bonkers. He's on the wrong side, right? No, he's on the right side. Yeah, but this is what but we... He's, yeah, he's kick there's no way. He's, That's what we just watched. So where did that come in? I don't know. Maybe he'd hit it after. No, because... Yeah, leave it right here, because this is where it was coming up. Yeah. It had to, but have, see, been why his, had they... to have been his first trick. That's how we're missing it. That gap is so bonkers. Oh, is what it... a, putting that in your run? The risk. Yeah. The risk. Right. So, shout out, Sheckler. Yeah. I love how we played yeah. every part of the entire run except the beginning. Go to the beginning because now the, 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 yeah, right there. Because now I got to see it. I guarantee that's you're right. That's 45 seconds, so that's the beginning of his run. Yeah, I guarantee you're right. right? And, yep. And we just played the whole, everything so many just times. For the, look at him go. Look at him push. Yeah. Dang, dude. Just. Sending, still going that fast. And we even saw this part. Yeah, we we just had to go back God. just a little bit. Wow. So bad. We're we were so bad we're at terrible that. at this. All right. Well, sorry well, guys, but yeah, sorry. That was about five but minutes yeah. on finding one gap one trick. One trick. <laughs> That's what we were doing. Um, That's how we live. Um, shout out to them though. Shout out. That was such a great. Thank you for skateboarding. Thank yes, you for thank being you. the level you guys are. I love you guys. It's so great. We'll we'll talk a little bit about um, some local stuff that happened when Adam and I went to go skate. Yeah. Yep. Um, is it this one? Uh, I was I was blanking. Uh, the da, 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 da. let me find it here. Where's us? Here we are. Where's the? I don't know. What's a good one here? Like oh, um, I wanted to show. Is it this one? Okay, well, no, you slow-mo. just slow mo it, yeah. Getting up that thing was fun. This is a Tuttle Crossing. I like that one. Uh, board slide. I do that manual. That's fun. I was trying to see if we had... I thought I had the the one where we... Nope, then that's old. Okay, stand by. Let's go back up, because I thought... I wanted to see... I thought we had the line, which I Yeah, think we did. This. You clicked through it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, the, line the second going, line. So my what I was trying when I was there last was manualing that whole way to go up and down that. Um, I didn't quite get it. But uh, one thing I wanted to show right there on this guy here, mm -hmm. I came up and I fakey like kick turn, almost like a half cab, and I board slid across this quarter pipe okay. and then turned it in. And nice. I, I got accolades from the guys who were amazing there. Nice. They're like, yeah, dude, that was sick. And I was like, oh. Man, I can, I still got it. I still there you got go. It. There you go. <laughs> I, as long as I can do like one thing where like locals are like, yeah, man, that was good. It's like oh, <laughs> I can I can continue to live. I took the worst fall of my life. Yes. No, not really. It wasn't even that bad. Well, you went down. I helped you. Crispy. Up. We're all good. Crispy, dude. That was, that was yeah, it was so life. funny. Like on the way out, BJ's pushing in front of me. We're just we're we're done skating. We're going home. <laughs> yeah, we're done and, for the day. And BJ's pushing in front of me, just going. So I'm cruising. It's a nice sidewalk. Mm -hmm. I don't think anything of it because you're in front of me going, and I just happened to. I don't know if those cracks. Those cracks were big because the uh, yeah. Blake. Shout outs Blake. Where we were skating, I was skating with Caleb and Blake, and Blake did the same thing. He hit the he hit that oh, crack. Did he? And he went down too. Okay, that makes me feel a little yeah. better. 
because I was like, like, I don't know if I just had too much weight on my front foot while I was pushing or something. But, yeah, I just hit the crack, flew forward. That sounded bad. I flew forward. And then, like, I'm rolling on the ground. And I just happened to look over. And I just see BJ just pushing away. Just going. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and then I hear, oh, man. <laughs> and he's like, Sorry, you're like, you good? And I was like, yeah, I'm good. Was but it fine. was... Afterwards, I was thinking, well, at least I didn't make like some weird noises behind you no. when I fell or anything. <laughs> that would have been worse. But yeah, I just Point rolled down. and like I just happened to, within the roll, as the roll was stopped, I just looked and you just. Psh, psh. I was like, oh. <laughs> shout outs. Oh, goodness. It was fun. Oh, quick skate, skate park shout outs. Yeah, for uh, sure. When we were skating, the uh, kid by the name of Sam was skating with us. Shout out, Sam. Shout out, Sam in Dublin. He's, that he's was fun. solid. Solid dude, it's getting. I hope he got that uh, front shove. Oh, he got it by now, dude. He yeah, was he it. was airing out a it. good. He was two, three feet. He, he was, was up there. Him. And then Brett as well in Dublin. Uh, yeah, a fellow old dude skater. Yeah, that's him. Came came from California. Was that the dude with his us. dog? Yeah, uh, no, that wasn't. Oh no, that that's was the dude that also went to Tuttle, right? Correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw him at Tuttle too because yeah. I told him the wrong park to go to. Yeah. Tell him like, oh, go to Grove City, and then I realized, oh no, I, I told him, I told him to go to somewhere, and I'm like, I'm like, I hope he's here so I can tell him I meant, <laughs> I meant Grove City. Yeah, uh, yeah, he was there, so I got to tell him. Shout out to them though. Shout out to uh, all of them. That was a lot good of fun vibes. With yep, them. it was. A, that was a good day. It was beautiful. Yep, we got lots of stuff going on yep. in there. I I fell down once. Oh, I guess we should play the the fall. That was a good one. Where my knee is still all bonked up. Oh, my this. knee is too, but for very different reasons. They just this. I, it's one uh, of those ones where, I, like, I stayed on the board and my knees slapped the ground. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so terrible. <laughs> Gee whiz. Um, and we got something fun this Friday. Oh yeah, we need to talk about that. Bow, 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 bow. Um, <laughs> we are going to be there's, dude, there's stuff going on. We got stuff and things, bro. Stuff and, and things. So. Uh, Cash Boy Mafia is a local band, uh, band, rap group. What do you say? I'm old. <laughs> um, they're performing local at artists. the Lexington Skate Park. Mark your calendars, November 11th from yep. 4 to 6 p.m. That's this the, Friday. Uh, this Friday. The, the episode day. comes out on YouTube. Like, yes. Now. Go to Lexington. Go right now if you're listening to this in the morning, 4 p.m. Be there. We're going to have skate competitions. We're going to have prizes. We're going to have... There's going to be... Um, uh, merch being sold there. Yep. There's going to be music. And your boys skating. are hosting the whole event. We'll be there. So come down. Calling out tricks. Yep. Trying our best. <laughs> Doing what we can. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, I think there was going to be... Great. Then And these are loose. That, like Things may change, but there was going to be maybe like an, a height ollie contest. We're the longest ollie. Doing what best we Best trick. Yeah, we're, we're trying to figure some stuff out. <laughs> um game of skate obviously but um yeah i'm i'm excited for this yeah this is gonna be fun so this friday november 11th 4 to 6 p.m yep. lexington skate park please be there yep. come just come just say hi to us yeah come hang out it's yeah. free obviously yeah no admission free. or anything just, like just that um we've got we've got the okay to be there it's gonna be fun and lights camera action Maybe, uh, but yeah, I'm yeah. I'm excited. So, so if um, you guys know any skaters, whether they're local or not, to be honest with you, come out, come sign up. Yeah. Um, if you if you want to sign up early, I'll go ahead and say this: message us on Twitter. Ooh, that's good. Message us on Twitter if you want to sign up for competitions ahead of time. Sure. And I think we could do that. We can manage that. We'll actually. You know, we'll get you in. And we don't know exactly how we're going to split it up or anything yet. It kind of yeah. depends on who shows up yeah. and how we're going to run all of that. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, this, this this is a trial run. This is everything that's happening, even talking to Rocky, who's who's putting this whole thing on. Good dude. He It's it's very much, he has made it very apparent, like, this is trial. Yes. We want We want to try it. Okay, this worked well. Let's do this again. All of these things need to change. We're going to change these things come springtime when we do this again yes so that's yeah, that's where we're sitting with this so yeah we're basically just trying to see what works what doesn't what yep. what we need to do what we forgot to do maybe you know 100%. or whatever Thank um, you forget to do and if we can do it right potentially next year we could get like sponsorships we could do 
you know, there's some options if yeah, if we have time to put it together and yeah. uh, and learn from this one. So big We're things try. coming. We're trying to do some fun stuff and uh, come hang out for sure. Sure. Then we got a couple minutes left. Let's uh, let's head over to the backside. I got a couple things to show Adam. I did. Backside. 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 Do backside. Backside. It's the backside. Is this the part of the show that I don't like that I always forget is coming? I don't, I don't Man, know. I thought we were having a good time, dude. I don't know. I thought we were having a good time. I don't know. Oh, I already don't like this. I already don't like that one. I already don't like it. All right, first first thing we're gonna yeah, watch. Yeah, it's bad. One. Don't I don't because you already saw it. Yeah, that's not good. I don't like that one. I don't care. We're gonna watch it. Yeah, I don't like it. There we go. Figure out what happens here. Oh, what is oh. happening? Brah. The Dude, facial. right in the nuts. And the... That almost look looks at, like Jamie look Foy, face. but... Look at his face. Yeah. Like he doesn't even know what to think or the say. The problem is when that happens, you bounce off of the top. Yeah. So he's grounded, and then he... Boing. Yeah, bounces. Look there's at that. A, there's a lot of... Uh, I, I mean, I hope things were to the side so that he just has some pelvic yeah. pain. Not really the junk pain oh i didn't know that thing uh, about nyjah i'm sure you saw that about how things got split open and yeah where he talked i didn't about know it went that the bad. rail yeah yeah so what do you well wow, somebody think said i one? think i think his nuts actually broke his fall <laughs> saving a wrist which could be fair that's you know what that's one um, way to put it. i mean that's good that's like a six though okay yeah i yeah. got you i got you uh this one i just thought was funny i i saw the thumbnail i was wondering if that's flat what this tire was. Throws, That's awesome. throws the skateboard down and hey, bro. Uh, here's the part. Here's the part I love. Look at him. He gets going quick. Yeah, he's going, dude. That could end badly pretty yeah. quick. Yeah, I wonder. What are you doing? I hope that's like tied to the skateboard somehow. Or I don't something. think it is. Do it you doesn't see look it like tied? it. No, I don't. Yeah, that can slip off very that's... quickly, and then your face first. Yeah, cyberpunk DLCs are getting lazy. Oh wow, <laughs> wow. I like that one. Somebody uh, said it's all fun in games until he met a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got to remember what this one. Oh, this is a this one. Yeah, help me expl- help me oh. figure out what's going on here. What's under the car? Is that just his hat? There's yeah. so much happening here. Was his buddy gonna? Is he? Was he's buddy, stopping him so he doesn't fly off? But they flew in front of the car anyway. No, Look. no, no. I'm not talking about that. He's oh, he trying doesn't... to stop the guy before he hits the other curb or whatever. Like down How there. How is that going to help? Hitting him is worse than him hitting the curb and jumping off and sliding out. Well, you don't know what's down there. There could be a big gap or all cement or uh, something. I'd wish the and video he's not, was longer. He's not trying to hit him. He's trying to probably grab him and slow him down. Okay. Not realizing how fast he's going to be going. And that's not how <laughs> physics works. Dude work. was like, if I'm going to die here, I'll take you with me. Right. <laughs> I mean, in all, in all fairness, it worked out yeah. about as best as it could. I guess about as best as That's, it could. There's just so many things going on in because that one, imagine right? like imagine how fast he's going. Yeah. Even if he's going to hit that curb and he jumps off, you are still jumping at that speed. I would. You know how rather f- how far a person? Not if it's to cement oh, though. Whatever. I I don't know. Not I don't it, I don't know. Yeah, you do. I've run out. You cannot run out from it. that. You can play that again. You are not running from that. I. I disagree. I disagree. How fast do you think he's going? Not as fast as you think he's going. How fast can you run? I. He's going I at can, least 15 to, there. As soon as you jump off two steps to run and then tuck and roll out, you're stopped. I would rather do that than tuck and roll onto cement. But they, like, look at their heads. That's that's them being Bonk, idiots. Bonk, they hit heads. They didn't do it right. Oh, I'm not gosh. saying that, but I would attempt that Whatever. before. Nah. Yeah. You're you're off your rocker. No, dude. Old man. Dude, Olympic sprinters run at, like, 20 mile an hour. 21 mile an hour. <laughs> if that guy's going anywhere from 12 or up, you're not keeping up with that. I don't know. I, I disagree. Last thing I want to show you got a this, treadmill. We can see how fast thing. you can run. Okay, I'm down. I've All right, got a it's treadmill. not going to be 13 or 14. Pfft, you don't know that. I, I do. Got long legs. You know how boy. I know that? I got long legs because you're almost 40. Ouch! Shots fired. <laughs> anyway, my oh, boy. Shout out, Sha- uh, dude, Sean. Sean uh, Cougar, Cougar Melon Jordan. Jordan. Okay. Sean Cougar Mellon Jordan, or just he's just Sean Jordan. Or are you trying to he's steal from Mellon Camp, bro? He is. It's funny. Uh, it's, I um, like it. He's a 
really funny comedian, but he's on that podcast, All Fantasy Everything, but I love him. He's just a positive dude. 41 tricks on his 41st birthday. Uh, nice. So just shout out to him. That just made me think, about, sure. yeah, I can't wait to do something like this. He's obviously way better than I am. And he has the time to just skate every day. So Yeah, that'd be nice. Go him. That's awesome, though. Congrats. But yeah, I was just uh, that's a big feat. Yep, it's it's a. I'm sure it felt nothing but good. And he and he's very, he he's very much on uh, the side of I I he like understands that he can skate and do these things because of where he's at in his fans. His fans give him the nice. capability of doing that. And he, positive dude, positive person, love him. I do want to shout out real quick too. Then uh, Dennis Schroeder. Who is a uh, he's a professional uh, basketball player in the NBA, very good player. But they did a, a GQ, I think it's GQ, I don't know. Does things sometimes it's like ten things you can't live without. Oh, and they okay. do different people okay. and stuff. Yeah, and they've had like a lot of cool people on there. And this one was Dennis Schroeder. He's a good player. I, you know, I don't, I wouldn't have clicked it, but the thumbnail had a, had a, him holding a skateboard. Really? And I was like, what? And so I clicked. And yeah, he's, uh, I think he's German or, or from Germany or something. But yeah, he said, uh, he said, I've been skating since I'm 13. He said, during the season, I can't skate because of contracts. And oh, yeah, yeah. He's making 20 million a year or whatever it is. Uh, but he said, you know, in the summers, you know, I stick to all the tricks I know. He said, tricks I can land in my sleep, like 360 flips, kick flips. He's like, we do simple stuff. We're not going to hurt ourselves yeah, yeah, and all this. But I'm like, man, it's cool. He's been in the league, I would say, at least five, six years, if not more. Um, and it was cool. He's like, yeah, I skate every summer doing that's awesome. tray flips and stuff. And I'm like, whoa, dude. dude that's great. So shout hey, out to Dennis Schroeder, bro. Also, um, I did want to say I meant to bring this up earlier when I was talking about when I went and skated with um, Caleb and Blake. Mm -hmm. We went to... Um, Tuttle Park, but then we went to Skate Naked in Columbus, the indoor park. weren't weren't a lot of bunch of there wasn't a bunch of people there, but they also had like I was, I was feeling like I used to feel. They had a twenty four foot, uh, flat rail, okay. and I didn't land the board slide, but I was board sliding the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, you could talk to Caleb and Bla uh, and Blake. They could they could attest. I was I was getting there. If it wasn't ten o'clock at night. Yeah. When these boys skate. Oh, wow. I probably could have focused up and done it, but I was so tired at that point. Again, you're 40. I don't, <laughs> and I, I also, I'll skate early in the morning. I don't skate late at night. Yeah. Day. But I was also, uh, they have like, um, it's kind of like a bank. It's like you have to ollie onto it. It's probably a foot and a half high. Ollie on that, and I roll up this bank, and I was ollieing, rolling up it, and catching. 360 flips and stomping them. Oh wow! And I was just too tired to hold them. Yeah, wow. but I was. I felt good because I was. I was scooping perfectly and catching yeah. the 360 flip, and like one foot would be off or something. Yeah, I caught one and it just stuck and I fell backwards. But I, I know if I wasn't so tired, I'm like all the things like I was attempting all the things I used to do at skate naked years ago. Well, and I was, I was getting them. Why, but, why weren't you just trying that on flat? Instead of ollieing here's, into it, basically. Here's, here's the thing: is I don't know why, but that's easier. Where it, when I roll up, stop, kick it, like scoop it to where I'm at, and then land it and go back fakie. Hmm. It's easier. I don't know. I have no idea why. I was I was catching, you know, I I caught a heel flip, flat ground. I caught a kick flip, flat flat ground. Uh, very flip. There. We're getting there. Um, I was getting. We weren't filming anything at that point, but I was catching things. You know, I was, I was kind of showing them. Like Blake was doing a lot of. He was trying to do a lot of like kind of creative type skateboarding with like, yeah, no complies and stuff. That kid can push switch. Like like I kept forgetting that he was regular because he was pushing goofy so much. Cause That's he, what us regular skaters do, bro. He loved like his favorite thing was to push switch. Until he got to an obstacle and kick turn in and then try to. That's do how I used to snowboard. I used to snowboard okay. goofy. Yeah. But then right before I hit jumps, I'd go yes. regular. And then go yep. into it. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, so um, I was catching things. I was doing stuff, and I was, you know, after the, you know, doing tuttle and you know, getting really warmed up. 
I, it takes just, it, I think it takes an hour of me skating to get warmed up to start yeah. doing stuff. But yeah, I was catching stuff and doing stuff. Uh, it, it felt good because I was catching like board slides and stuff and doing everything that I used to. But uh, yeah, I wanted to shout out that I'm like, I I felt good after that. Even it being so late, I felt like I could hang with them. Like, Hannah, nice. like Hannah was actually just like, are you okay? Did you get hurt? Are you dead yet? And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm it's hanging the opposite. with them. Yeah. I'm hanging with them. And I, I mean, I think it was the part of like, I don't think they think you can do this still. And, yeah. and I was just like, I can still do yeah, this. What are you are you kidding? About? Anytime that I'm in there and they're like, somebody's like, you can't kick flip disaster that I'm like, yes, I can. Right. Like I, I think my gut reaction is like, yeah, I can. Right. I'll, um, well, we're going to find out. Right. Uh, that's the, <laughs> so I had a few of those when we were at Tuttle that night because there were so many people. That's the that's the one thing about skateboarding. It's like, I know how to do this. Yes. Now, it's if you'll do it, it's a very different story. But I know how I could do this. Yep. I And there's been so many tricks that I've landed that I've figured out because somebody said that's not possible. Oh, shout out yeah, to, to Matt. That's my buddy is Matt. Is that Matt? Matt okay. uh, Silverwing Gaming. That dude. Like he he streams like stuff. Like uh, I don't know. He's still playing Dark Souls. I don't know. He's a Dark Souls guy. He does a lot of stuff. But he's got a cool podcast too. It's called. Um, oh, I just blanked on the Come name. Come on, bro. Uh, Matt, Matt put, put it, it in, in the, the chat. chat. Oh put it in the wow. Chat. That's harmony, um, bro. It was. Uh, it's we're basically ha- monsters and mayhem. I we're that's what it's we're called. We're two thirds of TLC mayhem. right now, dude. <laughs> two thirds. Let's go. Uh, dude, I, Who are I'm you? chilly. I'm chilly. Can I be Beyonce then? She wasn't in TLC. What's T? Oh wait, what am TLC I? TLC was left. Eye- well, that was the Destiny's Child. Oh, that, that's what I'm thinking. Of. Okay, I'm thinking of. T- well, I'm older. TLC. Yeah. Whatever. He said he's been a bit busy to stream podcast, but monsters, monsters myths, and mayhem. mayhem. I knew it was monsters and something. Editing it now. Hey, cool. Good Beautiful. job, man. Fun podcast. Go follow him. Go on Spotify and uh, Monsters, Myths, and Mayhem. Go check my buddy Matt out. Let's go. Uh, nice. But he also said uh, uh, back on the video where we were arguing about uh, the guy who clotheslined his buddy with yeah. his face. Uh, he said maybe his buddy was trying to stop now, the car. Let so, me say something real quick because okay, with your hand position, I think you know. Well, what's I'm just saying, if the guy was trying to stop the car and didn't realize his buddy's coming right for his face, that can't be. Okay, well, what I was going to say is, we don't have to revisit this, but I'm a detective, right? Okay, okay let's so we don't have to revisit this. And, in all fairness, Mr. Silverwing isn't going to have the best view that we are, okay, in true, all fairness. True, Our, So he's got a big TV. He over may here, not so. be fully aware. I believe the guy was actually in front of the car. Yeah. Like, like the, the dude's coming down the hill. The car is like over here, and this dude's in front of the car towards the skater. Yeah. Not in the sense of like in front of the bumper. Yeah. So he's actually not in front of the car stopping the car. I wouldn't the, think. The way you stop your buddy there too is if he's coming right at you, you duck. You you duck to to your right, left arm out, grab, scoop other arm around right. around the waist. And then just pull your body weight down, and yeah. then you both go down without getting hurt. And that's what they were trying I've to done do it before. That's what they were what trying to mean? do. What is, what is face getting away? I'm not saying these are intelligent people, bro. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't know their IQ or their SAT scores. Looking at it, it's probably pretty low. Not gonna lie, they're never gonna see this, so I can say that. Their okay. SAT scores. That that equates to how you stop somebody in traffic. Yeah. Yeah. I'm they down. they don't know this. Imagine, okay, if if you were, because they were what teenagers, maybe twenties, they they, uh, early twenties, maybe. So if younger, imagine imagine one of your sons growing up like ten years right now, and then you saying, "All right, stop this guy." What are they going to do? They're going to do something similar. Do this, yeah, yeah. That's 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 my point too. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. I guess you have to have had that happen to be like you know now they know know how how we should have done that because they're going to tell people, dude, he took me out, bro, and people are going to be like, bro, grab him like this, dude, like experiences, man. Yeah, that's what skateboarding's about. Living life. Last thing I want to shout out before we close out of here, the Off the Tongue Podcast Network. Please check out everybody on that. Main thing, the easiest thing to do is go to Spotify, search Off the Tongue, and all four of the shows come up. That is us, Greener Grass Podcast. Teach a Dummy, and Average AF Podcast. Enter those at your own risk. It, they are very different than these, um, but they are all very entertaining. So check that out. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, get get caught up on those. New Teach a Dummy will be out soon because while I was editing, I did something wrong and completely erased the episode I was 
editing because I'm bummer. a big dummy. It was Such a bummer. bummer. I've, ha- I've had it happen though. It. Yeah, I've had it happen. It happens, and I'm I'm learning how to edit video. Yeah. I'm not good at it, so we'll whatever. We'll get there. We'll get also, there. on the channel, there will be an episode soon. As soon as I figure out how to learn to edit, there will be one of uh, I tried three random skateboarding games. Okay. Uh, from Steam that I bought. Oh, I watched that. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to edit that out. I I wasn't going to because I thought it was dumb, and then I let my middle son watch it, and he was guffawing at me the whole time. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, maybe kids will dig this. Right. You know, whatever. If kids dig me being a goofball and trying to play stupid skate games, I'm We're down. Definitely goofy. So we'll put it out there. Why not? So yeah, uh, follow all those. Follow us. Like. Like, subscribe, do all the things you're supposed to do. The to things, do. Guys, the do the things, guys. Do the things. Do the YouTube things that everybody says. That you know what they say, Just so do I don't that. have to say them. I agree. Agree. But you know what you do have to do? Go skate. <laughs> do it.